everyone. Welcome to another episode of J Bros Cooking. And today we are going to be making elk stew. And as you can tell, there's a little bit different scenery because we are, where are we? Cabot, Arkansas. Cabot, Arkansas. We are visiting our good friend, our childhood friend. We grew up together and got into all sorts of trouble together. No. You guys got into trouble. <laughs> what do you want to be known on YouTube? Do you want to be a Danny? Danny's. He is a master hunter and he had some elk and we we're going to make an elk stew as John said. So we'll go over ingredients real quick. Obviously we got elk for our protein. We're going to be throwing in some carrots, onions, potatoes. We got some kidney beans, white and red. And then we got some uh, fire roasted tomatoes, some green chilies, some corn, and then a little bit of beef broth to bring it all together. And uh, we're gonna be cooking it in a Dutch oven over a fire. It's gonna be good. So you wanna tell us about this? Oh yeah, and we're also adding coffee. And this is a master coffee brewer, is that the right word? Roaster. Roaster is the word. Not a master, but I drink good coffee at home anyway. All right, so let's go ahead and get the meat seasoned up and we'll get that going. All right, so we're just gonna keep it simple. SPG, Salt, pepper, this? garlic. That's all you need for elk. All the flavors are gonna come in from all this. A little backstrap cut here. I know it's not officially a roast, but this is where the flavor and the tenderness is at on an elk. Mmm. Take them all over. All right. All right, to the Dutch oven then. All right, so we're gonna skin these carrots real quick. Just so your audience knows, the, the meat was both ethically and legally taken. All right, while Joe's gonna finish up cutting up those carrots, we're gonna go ahead and give the meat a check, see if it's browned up and flip it if needed. We're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna give the garlic a crush. Not really cut it up, put them in there big. I learned how to smash garlic from you guys, you know? Did you? Yeah. yeah. Especially for getting the skin off, that's the trick. So we got our potatoes diced up. Oh yeah. Gonna be good. I'm chopping the onion right now. We're not gonna do a fine, fine chop here. We got about two tablespoons of butter. Throw that in there. All right, we're gonna take some, just some all purpose flour. We're gonna get this sprinkled in here, kind of get it coated on our meat. Ooh, that looks good. That's gonna help mm. thicken it up. Give it a few minutes to kind of cook, get out that raw flour taste. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add, add our veggie medley in there. Mm. Let me make a little room for you, Joey. Yeah. Gonna give that a few minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna hit it with some sea salt. Yeah, that's looking good already. It smells good. That's one thing cameras can't do. It's... And of course, some peppercorns, black pepper. Good amount of that, huh? Yeah, I like the black pepper. All right, now the secret ingredient. Coffee. Mmm. Love a little bit of coffee. We're gonna hit it with, also hit it with a little bit of red pepper flakes. One of John's favorite. Oh, Not right. too much, but. A little bit of spice. Then also one of my favorites. What is this, John? The Chipotle Cholula. 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 Yeah, that's Chipotle good. one is the good one. And right. then let's hit it with, I don't know, maybe, maybe two tablespoons of, we got the Worcestershire. Hey, we're on the farm here, so we're just eyeballing everything today. I mean, that's the way I like to cook anyways. 
Let's let it get a little bit more heat. Oops. Come on. All right, now we're gonna add, ooh, if I don't fall. We're gonna add a little tomato sauce to this. I like a little tomato sauce in my, my stew. So we got some corn. Some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Mmm. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add in some fire roasted green chilies. Mm. White kidney beans. Mmm. And I also got some dark red kidney beans. Oh, yeah. Mmm. All right, I'm gonna give this a stir. We're gonna add in some beef broth. Ooh, we're gonna take it right to the top. Can we get it in? Can we get it in? Maybe. All right, and the last thing we're gonna add in, a couple of bay leaves. This always add a nice flavor. Oh, that's gonna be a feast. Yeah. All right, so we're just taking a few of these hot coals and putting them on top so we can have heat all sides and really get it to boil in here in just a minute. All right, so here we are. We're gonna give it a try. And yes, I did change my shirt. Got our elk stew and it smells delicious. Ooh, yes it does. Mm. Hot. It is hot. Where are my hands gonna fall? Mmm, mmm. It's good. A little bit of heat from the red pepper flakes and that chipotle coming through. It's so good, yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this up. Thank you for watching, for liking, and subscribing. Follow us on all of our social media, J Bros Cooking. Follow us on all of our social media, J Bros Cooking, on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok, and our website, jbroscooking.com. You can find all of our recipes. And like we always say, it's always better when you make it yourself. J Bros out. And, and in case you guys didn't know, a Dutch oven is actually a pot that you cook in because it's kind of gotten over the years, people think it's something else, but yeah, it's something you cook in. All right. How'd you clarify? Hey. <laughs>